Now the scary part. We're going to cut open our welt pocket. You need to cut it open on this center line. Cut it open there. Don't go until the end. Go until if you draw a line on the 45 degrees to that point. Now you don't have to mark it, you can just eyeball it. Okay. Now to start you fold double and you cut. However, in the middle you have your darts, you have way more layers of fabric there. So just go a little out of the middle and just make a small incision there. And as I said, you cut it to that point, 45 degrees, and then you cut under 45 degrees right up to the end of your stitching, making sure not to actually cut in your stitch. That's what you should have. Okay, back to the ironing board. We've got our um, our leg piece. This is the inside. You can see where we cut through our pocket. This is the good side, which has a pocket awkwardly dangling from it on the front. That's weird, but no need to worry. What we're going to do is we're going to take this pocket and put it through this hole towards the inside of the trousers, like that. You're going to have to use your iron to shape these pockets. However, before you do so, just with your hands, make sure you get nice into those corners so that they're nice and straight. You, know, you want to get into those corners, give it a little wiggle there. Once those corners are nicely opened up, just lay it flat. And press. Now, from the back, we currently got something that looks a bit like a ladder box, which is not what we want. We want a nice clean wallet pocket. However, for that, all you need to do is fold your fabric over the pocket and backwards. Pull down, fold back up. And the bottom part, fold it up to meet in the middle. And then fold it down. And press it. Let's go through that again. To construct your weld pockets, first sew a line above and below the weld pocket center. When that's done, cut open your weld pocket as illustrated by the green lines. Once cut open, flip your pocket to the other side of your garment. Now construct your so-called ladder box opening, making sure the angles are nicely straightened out. Finally, fold your trouser fabric over the opening and fold it backward leaving half of the opening covered. This will come natural when you're doing this because your fabric will actually wrap around the seam allowance that is there. To finish our weld pockets, to make sure we keep everything in place, we're going to sew around them. Here, we're going to discreetly sew just outside of this fold. It's actually where to go up and down there. Same thing here. And then here, we're going to fold, we're going to sew just there in the ditch so that our stitching doesn't really show. Put your needle. Nice on that ditch. There we go. I'm pulling this fabric back a bit so I can get nice, nice and close to it without stitching into it. You get to the corner, put your 
an eagle down and then you need to turn around your needle. And what I do rather than stitch all the way down and all the way back again, I just sort of back back. When you're doing this, make sure you have no bumps on the bottom because everything needs to lie flat. Take your time because this will be very visual on your bomb. I don't want to mess up here. Once again, leave your needle in the fabric. Just a grief and into this to fix it. Cut your loose thread. Cut yourself a weld pocket. Press this once more. Should be fine. As you're used to by now. Give it a, another good pressing. There you have it, your finished weld pocket inside and the outside. Now we're going to construct the pocket bag. We have one side of the pocket bag here. And we have our other pocket bag with the facing. We're gonna put this on here, facing downward, like this. And we're gonna pin them together. Now to sew all this together, there's two things we can do. If you've got a regular sewing machine and a regular sewing machine only. You can zigzag this and then get an extra straight stitch inside of that zigzag so that the bag is nicely finished. Um, to do that you would also want to cut these things where this part of the facing is sticking out you want to cut that equal. Um, however, if you have a serger or um, an overlock as it's called in Europe, you can just search the top and bottom part of the bag together, which is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to search this on, make sure we catch both the front and the back. There you go. One back pocket bag. Our back pockets are done. We have the pocket bag that we made, and our welt pocket is hidden underneath there. There is our welt pocket. Looks great. That was it for um, part 4 of Trousers from Scratch. Our back pockets are constructed. Um, they look great, so we're happy. Um, and in part 5 we'll be doing the front pockets. See you soon.